If you were one of Matt Harvey's teammates, does this fly for you? Is this good enough? Does yeah. This, does this make uh, you on, move on and go you know to what? war with this guy? I'm, I'm sitting here thinking this. Um, my gosh, are we living in a different time right now? Could you imagine if Mickey Mantle had to give a press conference? Oh, my conference gosh. Every single time he was out until 4 in the morning? That he's like, yeah, I went out past curfew. <laughs> yeah, I did play golf. You know what I mean? And we're hoping that this will be the last time. It's not the first time that he's had to do anything like this. But I I, I, I do, I just, I want to believe, as they say here in New York. Right. But he had to do that. The Mets, his teammates had to be upset with him. I, but I, I, because this has happened before, and the Mets can't handle it anymore, and this is, I would think, his last chance. Yeah, well, we had two guests Zero on Monday tolerance. say uh, they would look to trade him this year and that he definitely won't be on the team in 2018. Well, Ron Darling thinks that it is a change of scenery that is required. And then Bob Costas, I mentioned the possibility of him being sent down a la Puig in the way that the Dodgers <laughs> right. did with Puig, and he has been born again um, as, you know, as a player, as a viable player, if not somebody who can be close to what he was when he first came in. And Bob then pointed out that the Mets AAA affiliate is in Las Vegas, so it might be better just keep <laughs> him here. Out. I mean, that, 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 but. Kind of only in Rudd yesterday, though, said, they were at that game five. I went back and reread Terry Collins' quotes after, because they said they heard everything, the exchange yeah, between. Yelling at Yelling, at cursing, I want the ball. And Terry Collins' postgame quotes were a lot more softer, and Matt wanted the ball. Uh, don't blame the kid, blame me. It was my fault for putting him back in. So Terry Collins has gone out on a limb for Harvey multiple times. Well, this is what well, I just think again, it's just 21st century, man. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a player who went out, partied. And one of the reasons why he went off the rails, according to these newspapers is what, go ahead and tell me. Uh, so, uh, Julian Edelman, Patriots wide receiver, w was dating Adrian Alima for a period of time. They broke up. She was then seen out with Matt Harvey uh, for like a six to eight week relationship. Well, at the Met Gala, Edelman shows up with Adrian Alima, goes home with him reportedly. And then apparently, according to sources, Adrian Alima unfollowed Matt Harvey on Instagram. And this sent Harvey into a tailspin. Oh, my gosh. Now, that's a 21st century story. So... <laughs> Harvey was the Met part of the Met Gala is essentially what you're saying. Is that, that's where you're going with that one? I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, and again, you've got to be concerned if you are a, an organization putting so much into the hopes and desires of this guy's right arm, who clearly hasn't gotten it to this point in time, even though he came in in his best shape he's ever come in. Yeah, he looked and great. It looked great, and we're thinking this could be the year. Now here we are on Mother's Day week, wondering if he still can actually win another game to be above 500 for his career. And 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 apologizing for going out and playing golf because he still doesn't get it. He goes off the rails reportedly because his supermodel girlfriend is back together with Julian Edelman. I, I mean, if I'm a teammate in in the clubhouse, I'm thinking, is that the guy that we need to go to battle with? Is that really what's going on right now? That said, it sounded it sounded like a contrite guy, and this is one would think zero tolerance from here on out. Would you trade for him? Trade for him? Yes, sir. I don't think so. Would you sign him in free agency? You could sign him in free agency. For a cut rate? For a cut rate, for sure. His price is going down by the day. What a waste. What if this town is ready to put him on a float and throw confetti at him? And he just can't stay home? I mean... It makes no sense. I think you're on by comparing this to Mickey Mantle. Like the, the 50s and 60s, they'd be laughing at stories like this today. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.